Hi folks, welcome to a special edition here on the channel. This is a video in response to a viewer request. Um, there was a comment that came through from a subscriber over there in Chile. Shout out to you, sir, and to all of my Chilean viewers. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I've selected a location today that may be familiar to you. Those hills in the background will give it away, folks. Um, a place that holds a special place in my heart as well. The uh, request came through asking if I could sh film a short tutorial about how I start this aeroplane. Um, and I'm happy to, happy to do so. I just want to offer a disclaimer from the get-go for the haters out there. <laughs> um, take your hate or your dislike somewhere else, folks. What I'm going to show you today is the way I start this aircraft. I take shortcuts. I don't follow checklists, folks. I do not pay any respect to official procedures. I don't care. <laughs> I don't have to. What I do works for me. I sim the way I want to sim, and that's all I need in my life. If you want the full kit and caboodle, how to do this properly, you're going to need to go somewhere else. But if you want to know how I get this aeroplane started with a minimum of fuss so that I can get on and enjoy my flying, then this video may be of some benefit to you. Anyway, thank you for the question to my Chilean friend, and uh, let's get on with the show. All right, so welcome on board, folks. Um, I do start most of my flights cold and dark. You see that in the videos. Um, I omit the startup sequence from my videos because I don't particularly enjoy it. Um, and essentially I make the videos that I myself would like to watch. Um, and I don't do it properly and I recognize that. And so I don't show them. But for today, in response to the request, I will show you how I start this aircraft at least. We jump upstairs, cold and dark looks like that. Um, I'll take external power if we're plugged into a jetway, of course. Boom, get some batteries happening. I'll get some fuel pumps started while I'm here in the vicinity. Um, align the ideas up here on the left hand side. Get cruise supply oxygen on and I'll also arm the emergency lights. Which then has some power to our screens. We get a, um, an alignment message or whatever. That's it. From that point, I'll jump downstairs generally and start populating the box. While we've got some external power coming into the aircraft, I'll get the box set up. Um, before I start the APU. This is just my process. It's not according to anyone's checklist or official published procedures. So once the box is out of the way, I'm not gonna do that today. I'm not gonna show you that because I'm not actually going anywhere. But populate the box and then I'll jump back upstairs and get some APU stuff underway. So we'll start the APU. Make sure that's gonna work down here. Have a look at the screen. Generally take a sip or two of a bevy while this happens. Compose myself. And we'll just wait for the APU to become available. Which doesn't take uh, too long. EGT decreasing. N1 increasing, the gens will show some numbers, like so, and we'll see APU available, enunciate, right there. At that point, I'll jump back upstairs and get the APU's bleeds happening, which has that nice sound kicking, so I know something's working for me and that's kind of it in terms of what I do before getting away from from the gate um, from this point I will generally jump down here um, get a parking brake off now you can use the the pushback system that comes with this aeroplane which is very good or you can take the poor man's version of it which is shift P just like that you'll see the aircraft start to Retreat straight back the old shift P shortcut folks still works in this version of the Microsoft sim once we've got something happening there um, Back downstairs 
uh, that one there. Ignition to start, engine two kicking in. Have a look at the screen, something happening, N2 rising. I'll jump outside, see some blades spinning, I hope, on the right hand engine. Blades are spinning. Back inside, make sure that numbers are rising as they should. We'll hear it start to spool. PSI now in the green. N2 rising, I think it gets to about 70% or something. It's a little way to go yet. Good sounds in this aeroplane. At this point I'll stop the pushback with shift P. It ain't pretty, <laughs> the pushback, but it does the job. And to getting close to that sort of 70% mark. PSI now rising. Starting to get a bit hot. Inside, 60 degrees, 65. And essentially we now have engine two available. Repeat the same process on engine number one. Turn it on. Action. Jump over to the other side, blades start to spin. Jump back inside. Everything looking good. Now while that engine one is um, getting up to speed, I'll generally make sure that we've got our transponder sorted, we've got our flaps sorted, we've got our trim sorted, um, spoilers armed, that sort of gear. All right, we've got two um, starts on two good engines. There we go, we're good. Come back and put uh, normal mode there. Generally at this point I'll jump upstairs, uh, take the APU bleed off and the APU off. Taxi lights is required folks, do whatever else you need to do and um, head out to a runway and go flying. That is my um, version of how I start this aircraft. It works for me. Fully appreciate that it is not in accordance with um, proper procedures, but as I said earlier, I don't care. <laughs> it works for me. Um, to the viewer who requested this video, I hope this um, helps you, mate. I hope you have more success with uh, getting this aircraft started. Not a bad aircraft, this one. I, uh, I do enjoy flying it on the rare occasion that I have the opportunity. Anyway, folks, thanks for uh, your company in another video. Until we next meet, stay well, enjoy your swimming. Bye for now.